Today is all about Marmite. What? Marmite. It's Marmite episode. You know, you either love it or you hate it. Oh, I got it, I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because today we're going to show you two boats at the extreme opposite ends of the scale, one of which received so many comments which basically said it was fugly. Yeah, <laughs> people don't like it. <laughs> we want to know what you think. You may remember a couple of weeks ago we featured a really pretty old wooden boat that we found here in Crabby Boat Lagoon and we asked you if you had any idea what it could be. It generated a huge amount of discussion under the video and these are some of the things that were raised at the time. Firstly Brian Ape suggested it was a dragon designed by a Norwegian in the 1920s. Frederick Rourke also suggested an Olympic dragon class and he says that this class is making a comeback. Dan Whittington got in touch and suggested we speak to one of the shipwrights right here in Krabby because he says that that guy knows all about it. So, is it a dragon? Mm. The boat we showed you is actually an SNS. Uh, not just an SNS, Sparkman and Stevens got together with another yacht designer called Witten and it was made in New York in 1934, I oh. think it is, according to my records. Yeah, but it's not a dragon. It's actually a six metre class racing yacht. That looks way more than six metres to me. Mm, yeah, well, this is where it gets confusing. Well, six metres is actually an internationally recognised racing class of yacht. In fact, they were the smallest international racing class and many of these boats were the most technologically advanced racing vessels. Uh, but the class stipulates the following specifications. 38 foot length overall, 23 feet and 6 inches in the water, 6 foot beams and 5.5 and foot draft. And yet somehow SNS managed to get away with making urn 40 foot in length overall. So they managed to squeeze it into that uh, 6 foot international racing class. Of course, they're very narrow, they have absolutely no accommodation, and about 70% of their weight is in the keel alone. Ern was sold to a racing enthusiast and she spent the first 20 years on the Great Lakes. The next 20 years was spent with a naval architect and for 20 years after that she was kept in Maine and Mystic, Connecticut. In 1994 she was acquired by Gabriel Feldman, a shipwright and boat captain, and was actively sailed and raced. Now, funnily enough, there was another six metre class racing yacht and sitting next to Urn mm. and um, we managed to catch us some footage of it getting ready to be shipped off to its owner. Brian H suggested that Urn could have been a Norwegian designed dragon. Now although he was wrong there this other boat Vinia was actually a Norwegian designed boat by Jensen and Anker in 1935. And in fact, the Dragon class was designed by Johan Anker in 1929. So there is a correlation between the Dragon boat and the six meter class boats. But as I understand it, the Dragon class is specifically a one hull design, whereas the six meter could be designed by any uh, boat designer. And I think the Dragon boats were raced right up until the 1970s. So they've got a really strong heritage. The shipwrights here in Krabby restored Vinia in 192 days. Now just take a look at some of this carpentry, they really are beautiful lines. There's something about wooden boats, I think it's the romantic in all of, all of us sailors, we all love the look of wooden boats. And this little one, these two on the hard, just struck a chord and we had to find out all about them. Now the shipwright we spoke to here, very obliging with the information that he gave us, actually gave us some information on a third six metre boat and he sent a document showing all the work that they did on that and did you know that Ton, Tui and Pong who did our refit also worked on this boat and I think there's some photographs of some of Ton's work uh, who made all the original wooden blocks just beautiful. I'm not surprised. Look good. Right Marmite you either love it or you hate it. Yes, there's been a photograph of a super yacht that's been doing the rounds on some of the sailing forums this week and we decided to post a picture of it up on our Facebook page to see what some of our Facebookers thought of it and the resounding reaction <laughs> was the word fugly. So uh, yeah, they don't really like it on the whole with one or two exceptions. 
Yacht A is a 12,000 ton, 142 meter super yacht and it's designed by Philip Stark. Now, I only knew Philip Stark as a furniture designer, and also I think he designed the famous uh, orange press that looks like the a- The lemon space. squeezer, it looks like a Martian. Yeah, he's famous for that and for various um, stainless steel kitchen equipment bits. Yeah, but he has turned his hand to uh, yacht design. It has freestanding carbon fiber masts, which were manufactured in the UK. Doyle Sales USA uh, created the carbon fiber sails and the hull was constructed in Kiel in Germany. Hmm. Well, forget all that. <laughs> what we want to know is what you think of it. Here's three quotes from our Facebook page. Andrew Stokes, you can have all the money in the world and class or style don't follow, but the half-wit that designed that monstrosity should go back to school and learn naval architecture. Carbuncle is too good for that piece of crap. It wouldn't even make a decent reef. Wow, I think you made your point clear there, oh Andrew. Um, Ian Foster, eye pollution. And we love Sean Toomey's response, which was all credit to the design team. So for a bit of fun, what we thought we'd do is we would take either sides of the argument. One of us would argue the case for Yotte, and one of us would argue the case against Yotte. There was just one problem with this. After Liz and I talked about it, we both agreed that we actually really like we this. We do, plant. we like it. We <laughs> seem to have bucked the trend here, but I think it's great. I'd love to see it. It's, yeah, I, I think people's idea of, they have the perfect idea of what a sailboat is, and it's possibly the boats that we were talking about earlier, those beautiful traditional wooden mm. boats. So to see this thing up against a traditional boat, of course, there's a huge contrast and, and it, it jars in, in that respect. Mm -hmm. But I think as a design piece itself, it's really quite striking. Um, whether it sails well or not, absolutely no idea. Yeah. Um, I know that it does, it's got a cruising speed of 16 knots and a max speed of 21 knots, but I believe that is probably under engine, not under sail. So is it a good sailboat? Don't know. But in terms of design, I think it's just absolutely striking. Yeah, I'm with Charles Bryce on this one. He, uh, he was one of the few that really likes it. Innovation, new design always causes um, a reaction like this when, you mm. first, when it first starts out. And Philip Stark is, I think, a brilliant, brilliant designer. He's, he's all about the lines and the sort of overall look of the piece. And for us, yes, it's very different to anything we're, we're used to, but we think it's great. But what do you think? Well, you know, what are your ideas of the Philip Stark uh, Yacht A? And also some of those traditional boats as, as well. We'd, we'd love to know your thoughts and your comments. As you know, we always read them and try to respond to them. So stick them in the comments below. And by the way, we have hit that magic yeah. 30,000 subscribers yeah. to our YouTube channel. Yeah. I thought it would be a good idea to extend our shop promotion. I agree, it? yes. Okay, so last month we ran a promotion in our shop. Uh, followtheboat.com forward slash shop and we thought we'd extend the discount we ran last month into June so for the whole of June we're going to run that discount but you have to be an email subscriber so subscribe to our email mailing list an email will go out every Sunday and this Sunday we'll put in a new code for that discount to so thank you guys very much for supporting us and hitting 30,000 here's to the next 30,000 and in the meantime peace and fair winds there was uh, someone else had commented on our YouTube Facebook bollocks, bollocks and bollocks. And she spent the first 20 years of her life on the great length. Lengths. Doyle. So for a bit of. Wait. So a bit of. Blah, 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 blah.